using a very similar procedure to the impeller machining we're going to machine a blisk again we've divided the features of the blisk into levels so this time we don't have a splitter blade but still we have the shroud the hub the right blade and the left blade so into blisk area clearance we give the toolpath a name blisk rough and we tell power mill what levels the hub, the shroud, the right blade and the left blade are on. In this case there is no splitter blade and no fillets. You'll notice I've got the tool axis defined as radial vector with an elevation angle equal to zero. This makes the toolpath suitable for a four axis machine tool which is what we have in this case. So I'm going to generate all toolpaths with this particular tool axis. As you can see, the roughing is now being animated in pure four-axis motion. So then we simply go to the hub finishing and afterwards we will do the blade finishing very similar procedure all I'm going to do is change the toolpath name all of the levels are already defined I'll simply press apply now let's take a look at this toolpath and again because I use tool axis equal to radial vector with an elevation angle of zero, I have four axis motion. The blades will be finished in exactly the same way, of course using the blade finishing toolpath type. Simply change the name of the toolpath and apply. 